in the name of my ancestors, Peace forever and always and welcome to another edition of what we call the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I am the gatekeeper, the host of this program, known here on social media. Wherever you may find me, I am known as the mighty, 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 mm, angel snub up seven. I am your soul brother, number one. I want to take a brief moment to make a video response to a title of a video. And the title of the video was Have Faith in Yourself. Have Faith in Myself. I'm very sure many of us would agree and we would have no problem with that title. Have faith in myself. And I have no problem with that title. But I do have a question from where the advice is coming from. And the title is coming from a person who is claiming to be a Pan-African. Now, I have been on social media since late 2007, I have had over 100 channels terminated, constant flagging, constant harassment, even from YouTube itself. But I have never been angry at anyone who rejects what I say because that's your right and you can believe that you are a Muslim you can believe you are Pan-African or Native American or Hebrew, Hebrew Israelite or Moor, or Aboriginal or Nuwabi, whatever you think you are and you're happy with I don't have a problem with that people have a problem with me because I have the right because I don't know you personally but I have the right to critique and expose and show you that those aren't appropriate labels for these who are the descendants of slaves born in America these of whom I call soul brothers and sisters not I but at one time we did we called ourselves soul brothers and sisters the only identity the only label that actually came from us. All these other things came from either the slave master and their children or was influenced by foreigners or some other oppressor. So I questioned the religion that come from a source outside of myself. I question a ideology that comes from a source outside of myself. The title of the video is Have Faith in Yourself. A title that should be positive because everyone has a right to believe however they want to believe. That's your right. I don't care. However, if we are all in the same circumstance, for example, if all of us are in jail and we want to break out, you would think, and I have seen stories, these men or women, whoever decide to break out of jail, they don't care what you believe in, 
They don't care if you're a vegan. They don't care if you eat meat. They don't care if you're a Christian or a Muslim or a pastor. Do you want to get out of jail? We don't have to be friends. But we need to come together because I want to get out of jail. You want to get out of jail. That's, we dealing with the priorities. The priority is I got to get out of jail. All these other things, we can go our separate ways and do whatever, but we need to get out of jail. Because the bottom line, if you don't get out of jail, all that don't mean nothing anyway. We have thousands, if not millions of black folks in here, in this country, tripping off, trying to convince me to be a Muslim, convince me to be a Christian or a Nuwabian or whatever. And all of us in the cesspool, all of us are in jail. So it don't make no difference because the bottom line, as far as the world is concerned, you are an American citizen. You are African American or Black American, whatever this government, whatever the international uh, viewpoint, however they see us. All this other stuff. I'm a Muslim. I'm a Hebrew. Is a light. I'm a nobody gives. That's nobody cares, and that's the reality of it. But clearly, you don't want to escape jail. Clearly, you don't mind. Living and being in the situation that you are because you're comfortable. The slave master has you comfortable. You have your YouTube, you have your TV, uh, you got the latest iPhone. You don't give really don't give a damn. You run your mouth, but you really don't give a damn about the people or yourself. And this is why they don't like Angel Snub Nub Seven because I'm gonna keep it real with us. Because you're comfortable. As long as you can run around and be comfortable in this jail. And there are those who are comfortable in jail. You complain a little bit. You pretend like you're some type of revolutionary. You can pretend you can't do that with me. Because actions speak louder than words. And your actions don't show that you are a free person. Your actions don't show that you are a revolutionary or a liberator. Just a slave, feral clown. A feral slave that somebody set loose a hundred years ago and you just run around like a chicken with his head cut off. You don't represent nothing. I know I've been there, done that. And I understand that. And I understand you. Getting angry and upset is not going to change anything. You have accomplished nothing in the last 10 years. Since 2014, you got a big mouth, but your big mouth has not created nothing tangible to back up what you say. You call yourself a God. There's nothing godly about you. There's nothing powerful about you. You have not accomplished nothing. That's not my fault. You want unearned, unearned praise, unearned credit, and you won't, you keep making these excuses why you're a loser and a failure. And you want these excuses to be acceptable. Not if you are a free person. I want to get out of jail. I need, we need to get out of jail. And being in jail does not show you know how to escape. You just laying here enjoying the, the three meals a day, the free uh, cable, internet, whatever they give you, while you sit in jail, run your big ass mouth like you want to do something, but the reality is you don't, you really don't want to do nothing. You make excuses. So, so from a Pan-African channel, the Pan-African says, have faith in myself. Have faith in yourself. What is myself? Having faith in myself is not having faith in my father or my mother or the mailman or my teacher. To have faith in yourself is to have faith in yourself, in myself. It comes from me, myself. 
If you put your faith in somebody else, that does not that does not come from you. We are influenced, we are inspired by others, but that's not you. Myself is I am the source. To believe in God is not having faith in yourself. To believe in God is having faith in God or Jesus. To be a pan African, you're not having faith in yourself. Your faith is in Marcus Garvey. Your faith is in Elijah Muhammad. Your faith is in Malcolm. Your faith is in Dr. King. So when are we going to have faith in myself? Now, if I am incorrect, if I'm wrong, please help me. But you said, have faith in myself. Myself mean my. Meaning I own the self. Myself. I am the source. This is not to say, again, we are not influenced by Marcus Garvey. We're not influenced by... Know what you are, Lee. We're not influenced. We're not inspired, influenced by Malcolm or Elijah Muhammad or Louis Farrakhan or Jesse Jackson, whomever. But you must have faith in yourself, in myself. If you are, if the source is not you, then it's outside of yourself. It's not myself. I made the cake myself. That means I got the ingredients. I put it together. I, I'm the one that 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 put the eggs and the and the milk or whatever. Made the batter. I'm the one that put the put the batter in the oven. My, I made the cake myself. If your mama. If your brother or sister, if somebody helped you make the cake, then you cannot say, I baked the cake myself. You have to say, I, I and so-and-so, we baked this cake. I or you must have faith in yourself. We must have faith in myself. What do we think? That's what I ask all the time on this channel. Stop quoting the Bible, Quran, and what Marcus Garvey said or whoever. What do you think? Myself. So I think it's contra I don't think it's contradictory and it's hypocritical to, to tell somebody, being a Pan African, to have faith in myself or in yourself when you make mockery of those who do. Because on this platform, the realities took on earth. This comes from me, myself. This, I am the source. We created a vision, a proposal called Operation Exodus Mississippi Campaign. We are the source. We use our brain. I'm going to do a Dr. Umar. We use our brain. We use our brain. We use our brain just like Malcolm, just like Elijah, just like Marcus Garvey, just like Noble Drug. We use our brain the same way people from 5,000 years ago, they use their brain to solve a problem or come up with something. We did the same thing. Other than that, that's not myself. That's plagiarism. You are copycat. You regurgitate. And that's detrimental to the development of the human being because we can, you have the potential to be better. You have the potential to actually come up with the solution that you need. You have the ability to even latch on to what they left and make it successful. But because you're not looking at yourself, 
because you depend on a source that's dead that's dead because Marcus Garvey is not here these people Jesus they're, they're not alive they're not around so you depend on them and they're not whoo they're not going to answer you you don't get any answers I know I'm not going to get any answer so I have to depend on myself because I have faith in myself and I will use my brain just like they use their brain to solve the problem. There's a contradiction and a hypocrisy when you tell me you have a problem with this ministry, the reality is tip on earth. When it came from myself and, they, and then you're going to turn around and say have faith in myself and when I have faith in myself, oh you wrong. I'm wrong and call myself, oh, that's a pipe dream. To have faith in yourself is a pipe dream. Which one is it? You damn hypocrite. Which one is it? Because if I have faith in myself, maybe you need to regurgitate. Use a puppet. You have not developed yourself. So you want to try to make mockery of those who actually have faith in themselves while you steady copy. And the sad thing about it, you can't even copy. You cannot even accomplish what Marcus Garvey accomplished. You, don't, you can't even accomplish what Malcolm or Elijah or Dr. King, they're not accomplishing nothing. You're stuck in the gutter because you should be looking at yourself. They are inspiration. They are examples. And we learn lessons from their failures, from their failures, from their failures, as well as their success. You concentrate on what you think is a success when you should be concentrating on why didn't it work? Why didn't it work? So once you understand why this did not work, now, you can take what they have, use your brain, use your brain, look within yourself, because myself is alive. That is dead. Being a grave robber isn't going to get you nowhere. Myself has to be alive. And any, any woman producing life, produces life that goes forward. It don't go backwards. But as you see, these people concentrate on what happened 50 years ago, uh, 300 years ago, 5,000 years ago. They're going backwards. No baby goes backwards. All life goes forward. You spend more time moving forward than you do backwards. But see, I come here because I do have faith in myself. Whatever the source, whatever the God, whatever in the universe gave them strength, gave them wisdom, I come from the same source. You come from the same source. So why can't we accomplish what they were able to do and more because we are alive. And where they failed, we can succeed. If only you really believe in yourself. But you don't. You believe in that which is outside of yourself. And how has that worked for us? It has worked very poorly for us. In fact, the condition even by some white people said black folks are worse than they were during the time of Dr. King. I could be in error. Jot down your comments.